Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you replace the clutch cable on your lawnmower, first make sure the engine has cooled. Next, you should remove the wire and boot from the spark plug to prevent the engine from accidentally starting and close the fuel valve. We recommend performing this procedure with little or no fuel in the tank. Now carefully tip the mower on its side with the fuel tank facing up. Use a 10 millimeter socket and wrench to unthread the bolts securing the shroud. Note that some of the bolts are threaded into retaining nuts. You will need to lift and secure the deflector to access the bolts in the rear. The upper rear bolt requires a T40 Torx bit to remove. With the bolts removed, detach the shroud. Next, use pliers to detach the clutch cable from the bracket and unhook the cable from the transmission. You can now return the mower to its upright position. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the screws, securing the clutch lever assembly. Detach the assembly. Note the orientation of the upper and lower twist actuators. Then use a flathead screwdriver to depress the retaining tabs to separate the actuators. Remove the actuator pin and unthread the screws securing the upper and lower grips. Detach the upper grip and rotate the lower grip to release the clutch cable. Detach the bail arm from the left side of the handle to release it. Then disconnect the Z end of the brake cable. Use a 10 millimeter socket and wrench to remove the nut and bolt to release the brake cable retainer. Cut the zip ties securing the clutch cable to the handle. You can now fully remove the old cable. Install the new clutch cable by feeding the long end through the hole in the handle until the cable eyelet is visible through the slot at the top. Insert the short end of the cable into the hole in the frame. Reposition the brake cable retainer on the arm and secure it with the nut and bolt. Reinstall the bail arm by first attaching the Z end of the brake cable. Now position the right end of the arm in the handle, followed by the left end. Now align the cable eyelet in the lower grip. Position the lower grip in the slot in the handle. 
realign the upper grip, and replace the screws to secure. Insert the actuator pin into the cable eyelet. Reposition the upper and lower twist actuators, making sure the pin is properly aligned in the grooves. Then snap the pieces together. Align the clutch arm cover over the grip assembly and position the select lever and spring in the cover. Now position the clutch lever and thread the screws to secure. Tip the mower back on its side. Hook the new clutch cable on the transmission and secure it in the bracket. Confirm that the clutch lever properly controls the cable. Reposition the shroud, making sure the shutter door pin snaps into it. Replace all of the bolts and retaining nuts, if applicable, to secure the shroud. Release the rear deflector. Return the mower to its upright position. Use zip ties to secure the brake and clutch cables to the handle. With the repair completed, reattach the wire and boot to the spark plug. Open the fuel valve. Refill the fuel tank and your lawnmower should be ready for use.